Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. And in this video, we'll discuss yet another new feature in Elementor version 3.2, which is to import and export your site content. By site content, it means Elementor content, Elementor templates, your global theme styles, and all of the stuff created with Elementor. It won't import your custom post types and stuff like that. Well, to activate this, you need to go to Elementor settings, click on experiments, and you'll find a new option called import export template kit. Just click on the drop down, click active and click on save changes. So once the changes are saved, you'll now find a new option called export and you'll also find another option called import. So I'm trying to export all the elementary templates from this site to another blank install, which is this site. So you can see that there's pretty much nothing on this site. I'm trying to export all the stuff from here. So I'll click on Elementor dashboard again, click on export, and you'll see that it'll show me the things that it's going to export. So it's essentially going to export my templates, my headers, footers, and all the theme builder stuff, Elementor content, so Elementor pages, maybe the page is created with Elementor or pages edited with Elementor, landing pages, which are obviously a part of Elementor itself, and then site settings, which are global colors, global typography, and all that stuff. So there's an export button at the bottom right. I'll just click on export. So I exported the content of this site, which is wpfreedom.com. Now I have a fresh install, local install called wplatest.com. And you can see there's pretty much nothing here. So I need to make sure that the import export experiment is also turned on on the destination site where I want to import the thing. So once that's active, I'll click on save changes. Now I'll find a new option called import. I'll click on import. I'll click on select file. I'll go to my desktop and it's this one that I've just exported. I'll click on choose for upload. Well, I got few errors while working on Safari browser, but if you do it on Chrome, it will work flawlessly. All you need to do is to click on import select the zip file and click on import and it will show you this thing once the import is completed let's head back to dashboard let's check out our templates boom there we have everything we want and not just that you'll also find all your global theme settings you can also click on this x button to exit the import export interface so if i go to my wp freedom any of the templates and click on edit with elementor if I go to my site settings, these are the global colors on this side. So technically we should have the same global colors on this side as well. I'll click here. I'll click on the hamburger menu, click on site settings, click on global colors. And just like that, all of the global colors, global typography and custom fonts, everything is just right there. So it's basically a blank elementary copy of site A to site B. Now notice that this doesn't import any of the custom post types which are not created with Elementor or not related to Elementor in any way. And even the pages are imported as you can see. So all the pages that are actually created or edited with Elementor are imported from site A to site B. But those pages which are not created with Elementor won't be imported. That's pretty neat. And even the posts are not imported. So this is a post created with Elementor. So this is imported, but the post which is not created or edited with Elementor won't be imported. Usually you wouldn't edit your posts or custom post types with Elementor. So those sort of stuff won't be there in your site, but this is a cool way to import or export your content, Elementor content. This is highly helpful when you have a client that has a website already set up and you just want to bring in all your Elementor goodies from your site so that you can work quickly and effectively. This is a great way found in Elementor version 3.2. So this is the brand new export import option. All you need to do is to go to Elementor dashboard, click on export, you'll get a file, go to the destination set, click on import and import that zip file and boom, you're done. You don't have to do anything. You can start working where you left off. And it also imports your theme builder stuff. So that's really handy. You can see all the headers and footers are also imported. So you don't have to create them anymore. So basically you can have a set of templates that you want to use on clients sites. 
or maybe base templates and you can create an Elementor kit for it by using this export import option and work on it. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the another video. That's it for now. See ya.